Is this happening to you? Then you're in the right place for video game training. In this video, I'll show you how to defeat the Tree Sentinel. If you want to be an absolute legend and support the channel, then make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. My name is Azavar or Azza, now let's get into the video. Tree Sentinel is one of the first bosses that you'll see as soon as you start the game. I'd recommend not fighting this guy straight off the bat. Perhaps explore Limgrave first, even a little bit of Stormvale Castle, and then come back to this fight. I do believe this fight is intended to be a horseback battle, so I would recommend getting Torrent first of all before taking on this fight. I personally find it easier to fight this guy on foot, but you might find it easier on horseback, it's up to you. To unlock Torrent the horse, you'll have to find and rest at three separate overworld sites of grace. Let's jump in to the fight. Don't forget that you can use spirit summons forward slash spirit ashes on this fight if you do want to. I'm going to pop a pickled turtle neck to increase our stamina regen a little bit. You can usually get in two or three free strikes at the start of the battle just like that. Watch out for the weapon coming on down. And a lot of the time with this fight, it's about putting in one or two attacks when it seems safe to do so. Usually after one of his attacks or usually after one of his combos. So that is a good time to put in some attacks just there. Uh, usually what you'll find is after he's done a powerful attack or a combo, then his weapon is kind of like towards the ground for a good few seconds. He's kind of got the weapon on the ground for a good few seconds and at that point it's usually quite safe to get in a few strikes just like that. So just keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, a lot of this guy's animations are quite similar to Gyobu Mass Attacker Oniwa from Sekiro. So if you have played Sekiro you might recognize some of this, uh, some of this guy's moves and stuff. Uh, also try to attack him on this side, the side that he's holding his weapon and not the shield side because if you attack the shield side um, he'll tank quite a lot of the attacks and you won't be doing much damage at all. Uh, so just watch out for that. You can also use a shield to show you that. So we've got a kite shield which is 100% uh, physical damage negation. Just tanks all of the hits. Just be careful of that so if your stamina is fully depleted then your stance will be broken and you'll be left open to attack so just keep that in mind with your stamina management uh, shields and blocking uh, so that is that i think there's only a couple of attacks that we haven't seen from him which ideally i do want to see he does some shield bashes um two slightly different variants of the shield bash uh, one is he kind of jumps really uh, high and then uh, bashes the shield into the floor which has a massive aoe uh, or area of effect on the attack so hopefully we'll get to see that but let's get uh, cracking i'm gonna go back to double swords for a little bit just uh, whip out some damage there it comes that's the one where he kind of jumps quite high up and then smashes the shield into the floor. That's the gap closer. Uh, you'll see him kind of getting getting ready for the gap closer, so watch out for that. Uh, if you want to heal up, get a decent bit of distance, then pop your flask to heal. That's another one of the shield attacks there. It's, I'm glad that he's done both of those. Uh, either way, it's usually a good idea to just back up for both of those. The area of effect on... The one where he kind of slams it into the floor is massive. Uh, so just be very careful of that area of effect of that shield bash. That's the gap closer. You'll see his horse kind of get ready to, to charge for that one. That's a, another shield bash. So just back up for that and get out of there. Another one. Okay, so other than that, just um, crack in your attacks when it seems to be safe to do so. Watch out for shield bashes. 
that one. Uh, even if you do roll through that uh, shield bash, it does still seem to get you either way. Uh, even if you do a really well-timed roll, um, the area of effect from the shield bash seems to clip you either way, so that's why it's usually best to uh, just back up, really, completely. Okay, so I'll play a bit more aggressively here. Which may backfire, but let's go for it. Uh, it's usually safe to be, but it usually pays off, sorry, to be uh, a bit safer. I'm just put in the one or two strikes uh, when you can do. If you get too greedy, then it will usually backfire. So just keep that in mind when you're fighting this guy. And that is the fight. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it helped you out in some way. If it did, remember to like, subscribe and drop a comment. You can check out all the other content that I make at azavar.com. The link is down in the pinned comments. That's azavar.com. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.